everybody, this is JJ Long from JJ Artworks. I hope you're having a great time after witnessing the solar eclipse the other day. I hope all is well with you and your family and your loved ones. I wanted to pop on here because I haven't recorded an outdoor video in a while and I miss talking to you all on these walks. I walk outside pretty much every day just to get some vitamin D on my skin, take a break from looking at the computer, get a little bit of exercise, burn some calories, try to hit my 10,000 steps, and it's just a healthy habit to do. But today I want to talk about something that, I don't know, I think should create some urgency inside of you. It definitely has created some urgency inside of me. And it's the fact that life is too short and that you should be really living into your purpose now, like today. And uh, without going into too much detail, I know I'm being kind of vague, but I'm going through something right now where the light bulb sort of went off. Um, it's a situation that is uncomfortable but it's it's a positive thing regardless of whatever the outcome is but um it just made me realize that life is too short you know and maybe for you you finally have that aha moment or that realization or that urgency um when you know maybe someone dies in your family or if you get injured or god forbid you find out someone in your family has a terminal in, uh, illness and you find out they, they have cancer of some sort or, and then you start kind of stepping into action and you start really, really feeling the urgency of things and you start really trying to make the most out of life. And I'm sort of going through a similar feeling like that right now and it's all positive stuff. And although I am somebody that does take a lot of action and I put in a lot of work hours and I'm constantly trying to level up, it just made me realize, wow, I need to level up even more to sort of get into or get to where I really want to go in life. And it's, it's, it's really hard to... Um, have that realization but I think that sense of urgency is very very important and I want to encourage you all to try to find that sense of urgency now before something bad happens in your life and it's almost like it's forcing you to have a wake-up call right if you can feel that sense of urgency right this minute that's way better <laughs> than regretting starting too late on something. So one of the commitments I'm trying to make to myself right now is, I, I think you all know, uh, we moved our studio from Lawrence to Lowell. That, that was kind of a big push for us took a bit longer than I'd like, but we made it happen. And um, that was the first phase of really making some drastic change in my life, in the company's life. And <clears throat> now it's, let's develop these healthy habits again. Let's make, let's make magic happen. And also let's kind of live into all of the things I want to do in life. So one of the big things that I'm not doing right now, which I keep talking about, and I just have a lot on my plate, but I'm in the process of delegating and automating a lot of things, is really want to perform again. I, I, I really think that you can split art down the middle with, with all the different types of art forms out there. And please leave a comment down below if you agree, disagree. But I really think that 
a lot of us artists, we're sort of, there's two sides of the fence. I think you're either an introverted artist and you focus on introverted art forms, or you're an extroverted artist and you focus on extroverted art forms. And of course you can do both. I'm not saying that you can't, but I really think that some of us lean toward one direction over the other. So when I talk about introverted art forms or mediums, I really, I'm really talking about like two dimensional art, maybe art that you do behind the studio door. So maybe like writing a book, writing a screenplay, working on a painting, composing music, working on a sculpture, doing textiles, or, you know, something that you would do in your alone time without a collaborative, collaborative group involved. I feel that extroverted art is more performance-based art, where you maybe perform on stage. So you could be doing a play or a musical, or you could be in front of the camera and be on a film set, or maybe you're a musician and you're playing an open mic or a gig or a concert. Um, maybe you're a speaker and you want to do, you do public speaking, right? And of course, like I said, there's crossover. And I feel like I'm kind of split right down the middle 50-50 because I paint, I sing, I act, I write. I do voiceovers, I do martial arts nowadays, I'm doing Taekwondo, so it's, I get a lot going on. But one of the things that I'm not doing artistically is, a, is I'm not performing in any way. I mean, you could argue that maybe teaching a paint party is getting up in front of a group of people and performing, painting happy clouds, <laughs> but that's not really the performance I'm really talking about. I'm talking about like actually acting in a role and or being on stage somehow, whether it be with music, you know, playing guitar, doing a comedy set, I don't know. So long story short, what I have discovered after having this sort of aha moment and sense of urgency with my current situation. Um, I plan on getting back into performance art sooner than later. I, I was hoping to maybe start something in the winter this year, but I think I'm gonna be doing something sooner than later. And one of the big things I plan on doing actually is upping the production value of our YouTube channel and creating more consistent content because part of being a performance artist and wanting to be an extroverted artist, I really think creating regular content on YouTube kind of fulfills that void in my life. And I really want to start offering that to the YouTube community and having just more thought <laughs> and value added into my videos rather than something just right off the cuff. Uh, you know, me walking around with my arm ready to fall off in downtown Lowell because the weight of the camera is getting too heavy. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope all is well. And thank you for listening to me ramble. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Have a great one. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.